Ho, ho, ho! What a great time of year for our Colorado Department of Military and Veterans Affairs family. I am joined by my wife, Diane, Sergeant Major Bill Woods, and his wife, Stephanie. Cheers, Cheers everyone. everyone! The holidays are upon us. It's a great time of great celebration. We want to celebrate you, our National Guard family, and thank you for your commitment to service. During this season, days begin to grow longer, symbolizing the rebirth of spirit and purpose. You have served our communities and nations since 9-11 and before. You are engaged in the war fight, whether having deployed, training to deploy, or supporting those deployed. You've supported operations throughout our country and around the globe. Your hard work and dedication have taken the fight to the enemy. Your sacrifices have made a historic difference, and many of you will carry the torch through the deployments in 2019. You should be proud of what you have accomplished this year and celebrate those accomplishments. You supported over 20 search and rescue missions in the most rugged terrain. You supported wildfire operations, including our state's third largest wildfire. You partnered with first responders for multiple interagency exercises, and you even broke ground on the Western Region One Source, which in 2019 will connect Western Slope military members, veterans, and their families with the benefits they've earned and deserve. This year, our Division of Veterans Affairs helped tens of thousands of Colorado veterans and their families. This was while undergoing a significant transition to East and West Divisions. I couldn't be more proud of your professionalism and dedication to veteran advocacy, outreach, and training of all of our 64 county veteran service offices. Adding to your life-saving search and rescue missions, our Colorado wing of the Civil Air Patrol performed fire watch overflights of our communities and provided lessons in discipline and leadership to Colorado youth, inspiring many to pursue careers in aerospace, cybersecurity, and the military. This year, our wing took third in the National Cyber Patriot Competition, and their coach, Major Bill Blatchley, was awarded Coach of the Year. This was for leading them to an unprecedented eight national finals, including two championship wins. These examples demonstrate how our state and nation need you, but beyond our homeland, our global partners need and want you as well. On the international stage, you supported our partner nations of Jordan, Slovenia, and Israel. This year, we celebrated the 25th anniversary of the partnership with Slovenia, and for the first time, our helicopter pilots and crew chiefs flew jointly with Jordanians in Exercise Northern Strike. The increased lethality, interoperability, and trust you've built through these friendships fosters peace in these regions and beyond. You truly set a high bar for others to match. We have also extended our partnership through the Arctic Interest Council. This strategic initiative safeguards the United States' interests in the polar north. Many of you contributed to this effort through exercises in Alaska and Canada. And I have it on good authority that Santa appreciates your efforts there. As we look to the future, Colorado is poised to lead the nation in aerospace and cyberspace industries. Having these strengths in our department, I look to you to take a leading role in this growth. This bright future makes support from families, friends, and employers even more critical. A strong support network sets the stage for our National Guard members to succeed. Family members, you know how hard your service members work, and we know how much you sacrifice for their service. Thank you so much for all that you do. Setting aside our busy workload, that holidays are a time to relax. The quiet of winter gives us pause to find comfort in family and reflect on that which we value most. Whether you're preparing for Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, the Solstice, or Festivus, we hope you have Happy Holidays! Happy holidays.